If you are watching this video because you really, really want to improve your forehand, you're in the right spot at the right time because today I'm going to spoon feed you the perfect forehand daily practice routine. So you've been hitting the practice court, hitting buckets of forehands, and it's still not showing up in matches for you, you are going to love this video. Let's get started. All right, let's get into this video and why is it so important to develop a perfect forehand practice routine? If we take a look at the best players in the world, they have technically perfect forehands. And this is the key. This is how they automate those forehands in match play. Listen to what the late, great Nick Baugh Terry says happens if you have to think about your strokes and matches. So what do you think about when you're on the court as far as giving yourself specific tennis techniques? When you have to think when you're on the court, you lose. Because it's got to be a habit that was formed when you practice. The Borg, when he came to the IMG Academy to start getting ready for the senior tour, said to me a simple thing. Nick, I became the best in the world. Because when I stepped on the court, my mindset was this. I will hit the last ball over the net and play. When you have to think about techniques when you play, your chances of winning are a lot less. It's got to be a habit that you form, that it becomes natural without any thought. So the pros, they have perfect technique because they have perfect practice habits. And that's what I'm going to give you after you watch today's video. If you practice this exact system I lay out three times a week for the next 30 days, I can almost guarantee you're going to be hitting the best forehands of your life. The first thing I want you to do is wake up, pour yourself your favorite cup of coffee, and now pick out your favorite tennis player and watch them hit forehands in slow motion on YouTube. Take a look at their habits. Take a look at those solid fundamentals the perfect early preparation. Take a look at how they lead the racket face up into the ball. Notice what grip they're using. Watch the solid contact point and the smooth and effortless follow through. After you visualize this, then I want you to pick out one thing that you think you need to focus on the most that's gonna be the biggest game changer on your forehand and focus on that with every single exercise you do. So today, what we're going to focus on is the offhand as an example. Most players don't have a strong offhand setup. They either forget about it or they're just completely unaware how important it is to hit a great forehand. But trust me, it's a big deal. The offhand is going to help you load and coil into the unit turn. It's going to help you find proper spacing to the tennis ball and it's going to keep you balanced. Okay, great. So now we know the mission. Let's do this. This is awesome. I want you to start each day after you watch your video of the day with shadow strokes, but they need to be focused. You just can't be going through the motions. Make sure they look just like your favorite pro and make sure you're focused on the mission of the day. Remember for us today, it's the offhand. You can do these shadow strokes in front of a mirror or you can film yourself. And if you wanna be a real winner, do both. Something I'm obsessed with lately is VR tennis. That's right, I'm playing tennis in the metaverse. I'm using this app called True Tennis VR. And this helps you work on your shadow strokes and the timing of the tennis ball at the same time. And I gotta tell you, it's a blast. If you want one, go down the description box and get one for yourself. Right now, all you gotta do is get the racket for 50 bucks and you can use the software completely free. So this is an absolute no brainer. Okay, after you hit your shadow strokes, what I want you to do is analyze your forehand for about two minutes. You don't need to spend a long time on this, but film yourself and look at your shadow strokes. Okay, yep, I see my shadow strokes right now. I'm clearly using my offhand, so I'm happy with this. So I'm ready to go to the court. Okay, now, if you don't have anyone to play with, bring out your slinger bag or some type of ball machine and start hitting slowly with perfect technique in the short court. If you don't have a ball machine, you can also go to a wall and just start tossing the ball, get close to the wall, start tossing the ball into the wall 
and make sure that you are hitting perfect technique, one shot after the next. Also extremely important, move your feet. Just don't stand there flat footed. Remember, lazy feet equals bad tennis. Next, let's move back to the baseline and let's establish something I call the ultimate rally ball. This is a rally ball that you should be able to make 100 times in a row. You wanna establish nice height, nice depth and spin. And even though there's nothing flashy going on here, this is the biggest forehand weapon you can develop. Having a consistent rally ball will back up your opponent, force them into feeding you short balls and also create unforced errors. Once you feel warmed up, now it's time to challenge yourself mentally and physically. See how many out of 10 you can make into this target area. Do this at least five sets of 10. If you're on the wall, you can see how long you can maintain a rally without losing your balance. Make sure that you're completely controlled and balanced and in rhythm. Once you lose your balance, you have to stop the rally. Now it's time to work on changing directions. I like to call this two for one drills. I like to go two forehands, cross court, and then one down the line. Cross court is your money ball, but if you can change the direction without making an unforced error, it is going to be a life changer for your tennis game. To be a great tennis player, you just cannot play high percentage tennis. You have to take risk at the right time. And if you can change it and make the shot, you're doing something most players cannot. Okay, now let's move on to some serve plus one practice. Most players when they practice only rally or they hit on the ball machine, but they don't practice combining serving and hitting. This, I believe, is the big reason why most players, regardless of skill level, are going to miss within the first four balls. They don't practice the rhythm of recovering and being able to be ready and balanced after the next shot, after they serve. But you are different. We are different and we're going to the next level. When you can serve and you can hit your spot on the first shot, your forehand becomes deadly. This is called serve plus one, and it's what the pros do to dominate their matches. Tennis is simple. Whoever can run this play the best usually wins the match. All right, our final drill is gonna be crushing short balls. You can either use a ball machine or you can simply feed yourself with your hand feeds. How important is this shot? I saw Emma Raducanu practice this one approach shot for an hour and 30 minutes straight with no breaks the night before she's gonna play Serena Williams at the Western Southern Open in Cincinnati. Notice her hop, hop, hit forehand rhythm. This is the secret, the footwork leading up to and after the hit. Hit a minimum of 30 of these before turning out the lights. But you're not done. Guess what you gotta do now? Now you're gonna go home, you're gonna pour yourself a nice tall glass of water and you're going to review your film. Pick out the habits that you liked and look for opportunities on how to grow. Now you can go to bed proud of yourself and you can dream of your new forehand. If you do this three times a week for 30 days, you're gonna have no choice but to be in the best forehands of your life. Hey, if you're still watching this video, give this video a like. My buddy B2 loves YouTube likes. And if you really wanna take your forehand to the next level, you need to beef up that serve. So just in time for the holidays, I've got an awesome free gift for you. It's called Serving A to Z. 33 free videos. It's gonna help you serve over 100 miles an hour, hit sick kicks that explode off the court, hit slippery slices that's gonna have your opponent crashing into the side fence. Click here in the card section or go down in the description box and don't forget to check out the True Tennis VR app as well. Happy holidays, everyone. Here's to the best tennis of your life.